Hello and welcome to Australia in Space TV. My name is Chris Cubbage. I'm the editor with My Security Media. Today we're joined by Christian Feichtinger, Executive Director with the International Astronautical Federation there in Paris. Christian, thank you very much for joining us. Pleasure to meet you. Now we were just, uh, this is in lead up to IAC Milan, uh, 14th to the 18th of October. It's the 75th uh, International Aeronautic, Aeronautical Congress. Uh, and I, one of my questions to you is, uh, I, you're on the executive committee. I take it you are in charge there for IAC Milan? Yes. Well, uh, you know, the International Astronautic Federation has a long history, created in 1951. And since then, we are organizing uh, the International Astronautic Congress every year in a different city worldwide. So this is our anniversary edition, 75th IAC. In Milan, um, I have the pleasure to head uh, and lead a team of about 10 people here in our secretariat in Paris. And we are responsible for the overall organization of these congresses. We are working, of course, now on Milan, but at the same time, we are also looking ahead already on our upcoming IECs that will be next year in Sydney, coming to Australia. Great pleasure. And also already on the next one that will go um, to Turkey. Uh, so that's our role. We are organizing this International Astronautical Congress always together with a host organization that is typically and always a IEF member organization. Um, so uh, that will also be the case for Milan, where we have a host organization that is uh, um, an association of one of the founding members of the Federation. And for next year in Sydney, we will work closely together with the space Industry Association of Australia. Wonderful. It's, it's obviously uh, a nice segue. That's why we've got Australia in space uh, here and having interest, obviously, we're welcoming you to Sydney next year. But we've also been media partners to the IACs over the last few years as well. Uh, so very much looking forward to Milan. How is Milan uh, there in Italy going to stand out this year? What's on the program that sort of excites you and might be uh, new and interesting? Well, you know, um, the IEC in general is today perceived by the global space community as the place and time of the year where you need to be in order to be within the space community, recognized, visible, having the opportunity to, to network and to partner and to showcase actually what your organization is doing. As such, of course, uh, um, Milan stands out by most probably uh, breaking all records. We've had uh, kind of a few years ago, we were talking about IEC being a Congress of some three, three and a half thousand people, delegates coming together. Now uh, in Milan, we are uh, up for beating the 10,000 delegates mark. So in terms of participation, this will be certainly be a record. The exhibition is another record with more than 500 exhibitors. Uh, the program is the biggest program ever. Uh, there is something in for any, everybody, meaning decision makers. We'll have this international meeting for ministers and members of parliament. And what is very special and the first of this year is that we are inaugurating the first ever IEF Global Space Leaders Summit, which brings together more than 50 heads of space agencies from all over the world uh, to lead a dialogue about space capabilities for sustainability on Earth. Uh, so this is a first of a, a meeting, and I think that has never happened before, uh, that so many heads of agencies will gather in one place to discuss a very, very important topic, which also echoes uh, the theme of the IEC. And this year for Milan, it's uh, Responsible Space for Sustainability, and then also yes. 3D, Geography, Generation and Gender. Uh, maybe to talk to those two, maybe to the 3G, Geography, Generation and Gender, uh, how that is going to be presented or what sort of the key outcomes are that you're looking for? Well, the International Astronautical Federation has already several years ago, and I think that's even now going back to 2015, 2016, um, put up one of our themes, and that is fostering a 3G diversity initiative. And the three Gs, as you said, mentioned, is standing for geography, gender, and uh, generation. 
leaving in uh, a federation that has today 413 members from 77 different countries means that we are geographically very diverse. We are very inclusive. We have all the big space nations joining in, uh, but also the emerging space countries that are coming more and more up. And we have put one of our focus in connecting these emerging countries with the traditional space nations, the established space nations. Uh, when it comes to generation, this is another focus for us. We are not uh, a Congress of gray-haired senior uh, officials. Uh, we are very happy uh, to be able to say that more than 40-50% of the delegates that come to our Congress are below 35. So we have a great offer for the young generation, connecting them with the senior officials, providing opportunities to network and develop their career and also, most importantly, listen to the opinion of the young generation on what are their thoughts in order to uh, make sure that space is sustainable and to use space for sustainability on Earth. And of course, the third point, um, agenda is also high up on our agenda. I think uh, the gender diversity is something that worries and is a concern globally, specifically in the space uh, um, in the space area. Um, we are promoting, we are presenting role models, we are encouraging young female talents to jump into uh, leadership, uh, leadership positions, to connect with space. So this 3G diversity initiative has now for several years been a major focus of the Federation. We have made great progress and this will of course also be uh, demonstrated and reflected at the IEC in Milan. You have mentioned the main theme, of course, is sustainability. Uh, sustainability, I think, is something that is high on the agenda of all space uh, actors worldwide. We also see that sustainability will be one of the major themes at the IEC in Sydney uh, uh, next year. And as I mentioned before, it will also be the topic the 50 plus heads of agencies will uh, lead the dialogue on. I think the last question I wanted to ask is at least some of the highlights and key challenges you see for the space industry, given that this is the 75th IAC uh, and you've got some 50 agencies heading. Where do you, where, what's your sort of market observations for the space industry uh, as of 2024 and leading into Sydney 2025? Uh, you're finding it's rejuvenated or it is uh, facing some key challenges and sustainability and arguing at sustainability uh, as a key one? Well, you know, we we try to always leave a, a legacy with an IEC. And I just remember our last time uh, the I, we brought the IEC to Australia was in uh, 2017, I think it was, in Adelaide. Uh, and that was also a remarkable uh, Congress and a remarkable success because that uh, I wouldn't say triggered, but at least it advanced the creation and the announcement of the creation of the Australian Space Agency. Since then, of course, a lot has happened, specifically in Australia. The development, uh, the development of a space ecosystem has made great progress in Australia, but also worldwide. We are seeing that there are so many new companies, new startups coming up, while space in the past was focusing very strong, was focusing around a few big actors and big players. Today, the ecosystem is much broader. And that's what we are kind of trying to nurture, this connection between the government sector, the space agencies, the industry, but also the academic sector. Today, commercial space is playing a bigger and bigger role uh, with private companies taking up responsibilities, which in the past were limited and uh, uh, really kind of reserved for the government sector. I would say this is very important in order to free the government sector uh, to do new things, to do things which uh, uh, the space industry or private companies are not yet able to embark. Space economy is another big uh, uh, topic these days because space has uh, um, an enormous economic uh, value or economic impact. And I think uh, the realization of this within the global space community, but also and specifically outside the global space community, uh, is happening as we speak. Uh, today, space is an area which is also seen for investors 
any area where they want to put their money in in order to uh, because they see the concrete return um so uh, and one uh, maybe point or one uh, one tendency which um uh, we we can see as well and which we are supporting very strongly with our events and activities is uh, the coming together and the inclusion of emerging space uh, actors uh, into the space dialogue. Um, I mean, space has for long been uh, seen as reserved for, for some rich space nations uh, that are able to put the money forward, but today no country um, can deny the benefits of space for their socio-economic development and um, what is needed is, of course, to bring these emerging actors together with the established space countries and space nations and see how can they kind of cooperate, how can they benefit from each other, um, and that's what is going on. And I think this is what changes the space landscape um, over the last years and also coming up in the future. Wonderful. And I, th I think that's reflected well in the... In the program, uh, it's a colour coded there, but everything from the technical sessions all the way through to, as you say, the the Space Generation Congress uh, and some of the workshops that you're doing. So just so the thing, it really does reflect well on the space sector. And given that it's the 75th IAC, also the pedigree uh, of the industry itself as well. So congratulations on developing up the program. Uh, that is the 14th to the 18th of October in Milan, Italy the 75th International Astronautical Congress. Uh, Christian Fogtinger, uh, the Executive Director with the International Astronautical Federation. Thank you very much for joining us uh, today. Your morning, my evening uh, from Paris to Sydney, and we'll see you next year uh, in uh, September uh, in 2025. But thank you very much for uh, joining us on Australia in Space TV. Thank you for having me and looking forward to seeing you in Milan and certainly next year in Sydney. Thank you.